Okay, I just received my industrial injection silver bullet 62 millimeter fat shaft turbo kit for my 6.7 liter third generation Cummins. Um, it's a kit by some measure, but it doesn't have a, an instruction manual at all. It's actually a BD manifold, which has an uh, instruction manual. You'll notice it says for 5.9 liter Cummins. That threw me off, but they've been really good about customer service. Takes a little while to get through on the phone, but when you do, they usually know what they're talking about. And they always have. I mean, not usually. They, they seem to know exactly what I'm talking about. So they've been great. Um, but it comes with kind of a litany of, of hardware for different variations, I guess. Um, so I just wanted to go through it and show you what all this stuff was so that hopefully this helps make some sense of it um, for you because I've had to make a lot of phone calls and look at a lot of pictures on the internet trying to figure this out. So anyway, it comes with... A two-piece 5.9 Cummins manifold. Now, uh, on the 24-valve Cummins, apparently all the heads are are compatible, or the manifolds are compatible between the different heads. I think they're, they're probably the same head. Um, but at any rate, this is just a slip fit, and I thought surely that's wrong. But it actually says in the, the the manual on the manifold that these are designed in a way that this portion actually gets hotter because it's closer to um, the heat, I guess, than this. Let me see. I'll spin that around to that ring. So these things go together like so, and they're tight. And it's going to be fun putting it together. Might involve some heating and cooling of things, but when they slide together, it's just a slip fit. But once they heat up, this one will be slightly hotter, maintaining uh, a seal on this. So don't freak out about that. There's no sealing device. It's just interference fit once it gets hot. All right, on to the next thing. Uh, and I went ahead and I went ahead and scotch brighted off the uh, the ceramic coating or whatever this is on the manifold to make that mating surface clean. Um, so the next thing is this turbo. And I don't know that much about turbo stuff, so I don't know what this started life as, but it's their turbo. Um, the flange on it is not tapped like the other turbo so normally two of the holes or one of the holes will be tapped or whatever and then you know three of them will be studded from the manifold down uh, these are all open so what they do is they just send you some some longer studs with uh, backing nuts so you're going to end up with two extra studs in your kit if this is what you've got and they're different lengths um, so just use those studs that fit right the shorter end are the ones you put into the casting then you're going to use the factory oil relief, or I'm sorry, oil supply uh, fitting. So take it out of your original turbo, and in, in this case it's an HE351VE. Take that out, screw it into here. They give you a new oil supply line, and I'm not real sure why they do that, because it looks identical to the other one. Uh, so keep your bolts off your old one. They do give you a new gasket, and they give you all new exhaust gaskets. So don't buy new exhaust gaskets, because I already did. Um, the other thing will be a bag of plugs, and unfortunately I've already put these in for the VGT, uh, the actuator cooling system. They're just, uh, they look like a, kind of like a, a uh, national pipe thread type plug, but it has a head on it, like a shoulder with an O-ring cut into this face. And those are already on the truck. These two are for your EGR um, uh, cooler supply and inlet or whatever uh, my truck is is challenged in the EGR department so I didn't use these so these will be left over if you have um, non-compliance in your blood uh, so that's that this is uh, part of the BD turbo or uh, manifold kit and it is used to hold the uh, dipstick line in place I don't think this is going to be needed on the 6.7 because it has a, uh, basically I can still attach the dipstick tube to where it originally attached. Um, but we'll see. We'll see when we get there. They do give you a new gasket, which is, you know, awesome. Uh, and this thing looks pretty cool. I mean, like I said, I'm not really well versed in this stuff. I know how to put one on. I understand how it works, I, can, I think, anyway. Um, so preset at 40 PSI. You can adjust this nut, bringing the pressure up or down. 
Uh, again, it's 72, I'm sorry, 70, 72, 74 millimeter turbine, uh, 14 square centimeter housing. Don't really know what any of that stuff means. Uh, and it should be a direct fit for all of our stuff on my truck now. So it should fit up to the SMB intake and things like that. Um, so anyway, I hope that quick run through helps with parts identification and things like that. Um, it's really all I wanted to do was point out that you're going to have some leftovers um, depending on what you're doing. Uh, so don't freak out about that. Uh, and that's about it. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Pull the old manifold off, put the turbo on this manifold, put this on. I guess you do the front part first. I don't think you, maybe put the manifolds together and try to put it on. I don't have studs, so I should be able to put mine on in two pieces, which will, will help me a little bit just because these things are freaking heavy. Um, so anyway, that's about it. Hope that helps.